Hey, it's Lee, and I'm here with another pizza review. Um, that's like three in a very short span, probably less than a week. But that's what happens when you buy a ton of frozen pizza and then kind of run out of money and don't really have other groceries bought. So we'll give it a shot anyway. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Delicio Pizzeria Vintage uh, Pepperoni Pizza. Um, so I've had plain Delicio or Delicio Rising Crust, whatever it's called. Uh, I've reviewed that one before. This, I'm not quite sure what's different about this one. It looks like it's a thinner crust. Um, it doesn't really describe it as anything different on the cover. I'm not seeing a big difference between this and regular Delicio, except it, this seems a little bit tiny bit lighter. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing it's a, a thinner crust, not a rising crust. And uh, let's take a look at the specs. So it's 530 grams, I think, is what I just saw. Yeah, 530. Um, so it's over a pound. Uh, I believe regular Delicio rising crust is something in the 700 gram range. So this is a little bit smaller. And the baking instructions are saying 375. Uh, for how many minutes? Am I blind? 18 to 20 minutes. Okay. Um, so that's going to take a little bit, a little bit of time. I'm already preheating the oven. As a, the, the very last pizza I cooked was requesting 480 degrees. Um, this is 375, so this is kind of like a low heat pizza, whereas the other one was high heat pizza. We'll see if there's a big difference. I don't think so. Uh, let's look at other flavors I got here. Four cheeses. That's a tr testable pizza for based on my requirements. So, yeah, I'll take this out of the box. We'll take a look at it, and then we'll put it in the oven. I'll taste it. I'll give my review. So, expect a couple weird cuts here. Okay, so the pizza's out of the wrapper, um, and can we just talk about how good these wrappers are? These things are like kind of shut. And they have a little tab here, and you just slide it open, and it works perfectly every time. Why don't all pizzas adopt this? It's probably a little more, more expensive, but it's still cool. Um, so what am I seeing here? Uh, it's not exactly thin crust. I said it might be thin crust. Uh, this has a significant crust on it. Um, just not necessarily that rising crust that'll get huge, uh, like regular Delicio. Uh, pepperoni, again, evenly placed on here. Looks like there's a decent amount of cheese, not a crazy amount of cheese, but a decent amount of cheese. Smells good so far. Uh, a little bit more uh, herbs on top. Uh, that's cool with me. I guess it's time to put this in the oven and give it a try. All right, so the pizza is cooked. Smells great. It's time to cut it, get myself a slice. Not the easiest thing to cut, but we'll make it happen. It's also kind of difficult with the angle I'm giving myself because of the camera. All right. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my voice there. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, this is not the best cut, but let's try a quarter of this and come back with a review. I dropped a piece of pepperoni. We'll put it right on top there. Done. Okay. So I've tasted the pizza. You notice there's only three slices left. And I've got my verdict. Um, so what's good on here? Uh, this tastes a lot like a Delicio pizza. Um, I found that the... I'm guessing it's the same sauce, but it seemed to have even less flavor than the regular Delicio. I don't know why. The pepperoni is okay. Everything about it is okay. Um, I do like kind of the thickness of it. The, the middle crust part is nice, um, but the outer crust, even though it's thinner than the Delicio crust, I find it more pasty. Um, yeah, I just, I just think it's a step down. It's... It says pizzeria, it looks like it's going to be better, but I think everything is just a little bit 
less good about this one than the regular Delicio Rising Crust Pizza. So, with that being said, still pretty decent. Uh, I'm going to pop out the old rating system here. So we're going to go 5 on this side, 2 on this side, for a total of 7 out of 10. Again, frozen pizzas are always edible. My ratings will not mean as much as the individual kind of parts and flavors and things like that. Uh, just because they're all going to fall in the probably 5 to 8 out of 10 range. Um, except for the one Da Vinci, which was disgusting. Um, but yeah, it's okay. I, I would, if I had the choice between this and regular Delicio Rising Crust, I would go with, with the Delicio Rising Crust. So that's my final review for this Delicio Pizzeria uh, version or vintage p pizzeria. I'm not quite sure what it's called anymore. I threw the box out. Um, but yeah, 7 out of 10. Not bad. Thanks for watching.